My guest today is, Gor is Councillor Gordon Munro. Good afternoon, good Gordon. Good day. Thanks for inviting me along. Very pleased to have you here. Thank you for coming. Gordon, um, at the recent council elections, I gather you sailed into the, the council chamber on first preference votes. What does that mean? Um, what it means is that we actually got our strategy right this time. Last time round in 2007, we, uh, my, the Labour Party locally decided to have two candidates and uh, that meant I came through in the seventh round. I think that, uh, the, that Leith Lord will always be a three-way split seat uh, from f forevermore. Uh, in as, my long view. As, as long as the current system runs. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, um, the other week, of course, I interviewed former Deputy Lord Provost Rob Munn, mm -hmm. uh, who obviously got the opposite result. Were you surprised that he didn't get re-elected? Yes, I was, uh, given that, you know, the Deputy Lord Provost role is actually the second most prestigious post in, uh, the, you know, civic uh, life. Uh, I, you know, I think the Provost role and Deputy Provost role are actually seen as symbolic figureheads of the city in a, in a way that this uh, council leader isn't. The council leader is seen as effectively the business manager for the council. But didn't you perhaps have a, end up having a higher profile in Leith than Rob Munn did over the, the last term? Yes, I think I, I think I did, but I, again I think that's partly down to, uh, you know, since I've been elected in 2003 I've consciously chosen to, to work on the ground uh, and, and I feel that that, that has made up for uh, previous, you know, representatives of my party here who did not serve this area well, in my view. Okay, well, so do you think the SNP got the tactics wrong? I think they did. Uh, I think they were over ambitious, and I, I think they uh, underestimated the strength of their support here, and I think that that was reflected in the result, which uh, was a shock to to both uh, of their candidates. You know, the one who lost, Rob, uh, and also the one who won, Adam McVeigh. Very good then. Um, can we move on to the coalition? Mm -hmm. Just a one or two words about that. Yeah. Did you expect that coalition before the result of the election? Did you think it was a possibility before the election results were announced? No, I, d I didn't think it was a possibility. I, I think that we quite openly set out our stall in our manifesto uh, and the, the first initial talks uh, held by our negotiating team uh, was making it quite open to, to everybody to, to, uh, to, to speak, make a pitch and look at a, a coalition or a, a, a council of the talents. Uh, and Andrew Burns, as our group leader, was quite open about that approach as well. Were you surprised that, they managed, that it managed to happen, that it got, that it was a, a successful negotiation? Yeah, there, uh, there was various factors that came into play, and I, th I think at the end of the day, the, the, the one thing that nobody could deny was that it was the arithmetic uh, is actually, you know, part and parcel of that decision as well. You know, the the, the coalition has, you know, thirty. Uh, councillors and it, it therefore means that it's not like the previous coalition which actually in some instances had to rely on the casting vote of the Lord yeah. Provost to win some mm -hmm. controversial votes. Do you think it'll last, the full term? Yes, I think it will. Uh, I mean, and uh, the, the, tomorrow we will actually have our uh, very first joint uh, administration away day uh, where we all sit down together and uh, discuss how we govern over the next five years. Right. So that's both parties? Yeah, that's an exclusive so for it, you. Well, there you go. Are you having a, is it a paintball or anything like that? No, not the Augustine Church. It's very business-like. Uh, and George IV Bridge opposite Central Library. Oh, no, right. that's an away day yeah. in the middle of the city. Yeah, yeah. A couple hundred yards from yeah. the, the city chambers. Well, I'm quite glad because I'm, uh, it's, it's tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow I'm uh, double booked. So I'm doing half a day at the Port of Leith away day and then I'll do a half day uh, with our away day. Okay, then. well, thanks very much. I have to say congratulations on your re-election. Oh, before we go, I was going to... Have you been appointed to any uh, posts? Have you in charge of any committees? Yes, I've, uh, I'm the vice convener of the Economic Development Committee of the Council, which is chaired uh, by Councillor Tom Buchanan uh, from the SNP. Okay. So, uh, again... Does that oversee the trams, by any chance? No, that'll be the Transport, Infrastructure That's and Environment right. Committee, right. Uh, which is chaired by Councillor Hines. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, perhaps we can have you back again on when there are more controversial topics come up. 
Yes, and I, I have no doubt that they will. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good of you to come. Yeah, oh no, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Gordon.